Hello there, I'm Jordan Jolker, vocalist for Upon a Grave, and this is a video interview for Metal Rules. Uh, please introduce the band to our viewers. Uh, we are Upon a Grave, a metal band, death metal band for, from uh, Quebec City. We've been active since, I think, as far back as 2009, and we've got one album that we released in 2013 and another upcoming one or new one in 2022, 7 October. Uh, what drives you as an artist to create music? And first of all, it's going to be from my point of view because the other guys are not with me right now. So it's uh, from my perspective. Uh, when I create music, uh, from a vocalist uh, viewpoint, it's always uh, to tell a story with uh, great imagery. Um, it's like the urge inside to 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 get out the emotions, and uh, there's only metal you can do it like that. You can play all the other styles, but that metal has got something very unique to to. Uh, to create uh, aggressive emotions and to tell very specific types of stories that you can tell in in other styles of music. Where does the band name come from? Well, <laughs> the band name Upon Your Grave comes from a bunch of teenagers who were playing in a garage uh, at uh, 16, 17 years old. I was, I was 15 years old when I got in the band at the time and they already uh, got the band name down before I get in. So uh, I could tell you some uh, super philosophic thing. Uh, that's why Upon Your Grave is called Upon Your Grave. But bottom line, I think at the time, by 17 years old guy, it could be because it sounded metal. Don't search very, uh, very far. Tell us about your new album, yes. So our new album is uh, something very dear to us. We worked really hard on it since uh, COVID hit back. Uh, we've been on hiatus since uh, 2015, so um, we really didn't uh, release uh, in new music since uh, our last album, 2013. Uh, this one's is uh, it's like a revival, like one of the tracks on the album. It's, it's really a rebirth. We've got uh, two new guys with us, two good friends, uh, Yann Peltier and Sébastien Gagné on drums, Yann on bass, and we've got two uh, old members from the old lineup, to Sim Diamond and Alex Bussard on guitars, and. Uh, uh, the new album is called Golden Decay. It's going to be on all platforms on 7 October 2022. Um, it's not a uh, it's not a long album. It's like five songs, I think. But uh, it's really it's really songs that we've we've put work into it, and that we like very much. We've um, worked those songs to hell, and I think we did. Uh, we did the, the, the best effort we ever did as a band, uh, as friends, as musicians. I think uh, it's really going to shine on that album. Um, what, what inspired the lyrics on this release? Um, what, what inspired the lyrics? Well, um, before, wh wh when I wrote lyrics before, it was always something um, from inside, from emotions, from... Uh, 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 a place you are in your life, a uh, struggle you're going through, uh, an emotion you can you can really put into words. Uh, I, I I I always written like that uh, when doing uh, doing music, but uh, with this release, I really wanted to do something different. I I wanted to create uh, imagery. I wanted to create uh, stories. I wanted to create. Uh, worlds that you get get into that every viewer is gonna maybe see it from a, a different perspective and get his own story in his head. I, I don't know. It's something that I really wanted to try. Uh, like um, a song uh, from Beyond is I, I'm a sci-fi guy. I really like sci-fi movies uh, from the 80s to 2022. Uh, from Beyond tell the story of. Um, 
human scientific exploring uh, space and discovering an immense being that uh, the galaxy naturally birthed and this being is like the apex predator that something uh, could be born naturally from the void you know and uh, it, it, it tells the struggle of those scientists uh, really wanted to study that beast but uh, getting into harm's way uh, it can go from uh, Pandora who uh, is uh, the myth of the Pandora box from the Greek mythology and there's also Transcend which is uh, one of my favorite on the album that talk about uh, an aesthetic that I love very much uh, everything cyberpunk uh, Ghost in a Shell inspired me um, ev everything really really dark and grim with uh, tech, technology and everything like that it's something that I really like so Ghost in the Shell and uh, um, and th those types of stuff really inspired me to do that song and I really love it and I really like how it tra it transpired on the album <coughs> uh, what's the story behind the album cover hard work well, the album cover hard work is uh, literally a uh, golden heart. That's uh, it's supposed to represent the um, it's supposed to represent the rebirth of the band. That um, a bunch of friends coming back together and uh, reanimating a decaying thing and putting love, life into it, and really just. No, no, nothing's black and white in life. Everything's gray. And uh, Golden K really talks about that too. And to not uh, to not take everything from one perspective. Really uh, take the time and, you know, it's something really... Um, it's not just... Uh, it's not just uh, zombies eating brains and, you, you know, usual metal stuff. We're not really, uh, we're not really uh, into that stuff, but you know, it's it, it's more. Tell us about the, your local music scene. The local music scene in Quebec is uh, really nice. There's a lot of new talents. There's a lot of new bands uh, springing left and right. Uh, every type of male, every type of. Uh, of person, I mean, it's really healthy, and and especially since COVID, uh, the restrictions uh, were lifted. We are beginning to see uh, all those bands that work on albums during COVID, like us, and beginning to release music, and just the scene uh, uh, be becoming alive again since uh, since uh, we didn't see uh, since years, literally. So yeah, the, the, the music in Quebec is really healthy. Lots of good bands, uh, lots of great talents. Um, so that's it. Uh, what are the future plans for the band? Uh, playing gigs? Uh, getting wild with you guys uh, live? Uh, promoting uh, the album? <laughs> like hell, man. Uh, we're there, we're there, and we got plans for this. Uh, I could say uh, the usual uh, big things coming soon, but <laughs> ah, no, uh, we, we we've got live gigs and we're 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 just stoked to play with, to play live with you guys. Uh, why does metal rule? Well, like I said, uh, what drives uh, uh, the other question? What drives you to as an artist to create music? Um, metal is really a type of music that uh, can spring outwards uh, em emotions, very specific emotion, aggressiveness um, and things like that, wanting to kill people. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but really it's, uh, it's really a style that can um, it's really a style that can get the negative emotions out like not many styles can or do it differently like I'm not uh, I, I, I listen to everything so I'm not an artist or gatekeeping person so um, it, it, it really it really gets you it really gets you out there 
and the, the way it does is really specific to metal and for me uh, that's why metal rule so uh, that's it for the interview I'm Jordan Jolicoeur from uh, Born and Grave and uh, we're on Facebook Instagram TikTok uh, we're on uh, everything so uh, stay tuned and uh, keep stuck on the album thank you guys